Hi guys, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy. As you know, I run a home daycare, and I've had my eye on this Get Ready for Pre-K Jumbo Workbook by Scholastic, and I'd like to do a review on it and have a, a little flip through for you. So what I do is when I get my workbooks, I tear them apart at the binding here. Even if they have perforated edges like this one does, um, I like to have that extra space when I can and break them apart um, at the edge and then what I like to do is stick them into a binder so I'm going to move this out of the way for just a second and show you what I might do now this one is a little bit of a long an elongated um, workbook so it does fit a little bit over the edge on a standard um, binder but uh, I will take a um, a cutting blade or a pair of scissors and cut the edging and make a nice clean edge on the front and the back of the workbook and then also I put the um, the binding edge label on the on the edge too so let me show you how I do that and I go ahead and start inserting them into sheet protectors especially the um, first two pages and the table of contents. Now the reason I like to keep the perforated edge as you see right here and with a little bit of extra see if you can see that and have a nice clean edge here is because if I were to need to hole punch them this gives places for you to hole punch that way you don't have to put these in sheet protectors and you could um, recycle your sheet protectors. So what I do is I take the workbook and I will tear out large chunks at a time away from the binding. That way um, this helps keep the glue um, from bunching up too much and then ending up tearing your pages the further you get back into your book. So if you take as large a chunks as you can and pull them away and then what you'll have is something like this where you'll have um, almost like little booklets here and then see they still have a little glue there and they easily tear away instead of having all of your instead of having all the glue bunch up and sometimes you have to uh, take your scissors or um, pull away some of the glue so that it releases from this edging here and that will keep your edges nice and um, clean like this so I'm in the middle of taking this workbook apart and what I'm doing is I'm separating the workbook according to skills and then I'm putting them into separate um, binders according to skill but if you don't have a lot of workbooks to join together according to skill um, you can just use one binder like this but I'll show you what I mean in just a second here you go I have a helper with me today I'm just going to set this out of the way. Okay, so back to the workbook. I've got, um, let's see, I'll show you how thick it is. It's pretty thick. We've got, oh, there's stickers comes in the back for activities. And the actual pages here is... 239 and then you got your award on the back and then and then you've got some stickers in the very back and this is what the back looks like and that's what the coat looks like so let's get started with this so if you open it up you've got your first page here and your table of contents. Now you always want to put your table of contents in a sheet protector at the beginning of your binder because a lot of times you will, if you're going to keep all of this into one binder, you'll refer to this often so this will get a lot of wear and tear. So when you, what's good about this for preschoolers is um, you're going to end up having um, some tracing and so they've started out with from, tracing from the top to the bottom and then from left to right activities. And what I've done, here's what their pages look like, okay, for tracing, and they get a little bit harder as you go along. So I'm gonna pause for just a second. I'm gonna show you my workbook 
where I've uh, a binder that I've put together that has several different uh, workbooks joined in according to this tracing skill. So I've put a label on here, writing red disc. This was a sheet that came with a different workbook. And as you can see, this one is cur comprehensive curriculum for kindergarten, for pre-kindergarten. And um, you have a path to follow. And they start out with squiggly lines. And you got straight lines from left to right. And then they've got the up and down. And as you see, this is uh, my copy of my workbook that I've already started to fill in these skills into my writing readiness um, binder. And then as you get, it goes from um, up and down to straight across and then slanted. And then they've got curve lines. Now these are from other curriculum workbooks. Again, this is Comprehensive Curriculum Pre-Kindergarten Workbook. Um, some other things that I found online and printed off. And uh, then you move into Simple Mazes. So you have the same idea that you're keep having the child draw inside the lines. And you're having the child practice their handwriting, pre-handwriting skills with this before you start teaching them their letters. And then they're getting um, their muscles in, their small motor muscles in their hands uh, exercised. So this is one that has Bible mazes, in case you're interested in that. The other ones were more secular. This is uh, for Christian-based. So those are some sample pages of that. So that's an example of how I combine different um, skills in a skill from different workbooks into one binder. And so that's what I do. And I pull this out of our main book here and then fit it into a skill. And then what I have is uh, a coloring binder uh, for colors and shapes, another binder for the alphabet letters A through N or A through L and then another uh, binder for M through Z letters M through Z so let me get back to our pre-k book here so in our table of context we have tracing tracing and first mazes as I said I put in my first binder then you have first concepts and that is page 42 let's turn to that real quick so you have some mazes here pages 42 so what you have is um, your colors and your shapes. Okay? And with very young children, you want to start out with just a color or just a shape. It's a higher level thinking to do a color and a shape together. So you would want to have this maybe three or four or five years old. You would not want um, to start out a two or three year old with colors and shapes together. Um, teach your colors and your shapes separately and then join them together in one lesson. Okay, so then we have um, ABCs. The alphabet starts at page 62, so we'll go there. Okay, so we have our um, alphabet letters, an introduction to those. Um, I do like the fact that this all one color with some pictures in a different color, but all the font is the same color on these pages. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to um, Q, the letter Q, so you see which of the letter Q. Okay, so this is what the font looks like for Q. Right? And what I do like about it, it's just on the verge of having a little too much on these pages, but I think that this is okay, uh, especially since there's mostly one color on a page. Um, 
I don't think that this is too too busy for a child. You might want to start out with just plain black and white and then graduate to the color. Okay, now the next on our list is First Letter Sounds, page 84, which is right here. So they start um, introducing sounds with using the letter in the first the first letter sounds okay then we have rhymes page 106 let me try to get that real fast okay so cat dog frog bat cat with bat and frog with dog okay circle the rhyme okay I like that this is large pictures, large font, and you would not, I would suggest against having the whole book um, for the child. I would definitely tear these out or have these in a binder that you could uh, take the whole page out. Now, one thing about using a, I'm going to go back here to your letters. One thing about using a dry erase marker is when you insert these into sheet protectors, you use a dry erase marker and you use these pages over and over and over again. This would be a, hot, a shame to, to waste these um, pages on just one, one sitting and one, one lesson. So uh, when you do that, you can use alcohol, rubbing alcohol with uh, a paper towel or a rag, or you can also use uh, baby wipes to wipe off your dry, away, uh, dry erase. And then you can cut your baby wipes into you know maybe halves or fourths to stretch them a little bit all right so rhymes and then there's handwriting page 126 and now we're getting to a little bit more color on the pages not like before that had all one color see now you have multiple colors on a page so um, you want to introduce children to the letters with just the black and white and then this would be something you would introduce after they've uh, been introduced to uh, the letters for a little while. Now, I did negotiate with myself on whether I wanted this uh, much color on a page. Uh, pink here, blue here, pink here. And we have the, the, the turquoise or teal here with the yellow and pink here. Um, I, but I think that this would be okay after a child's gotten used to um, working with the letters on black and white background. Okay, so let's go back to the table of contents again. And we have handwriting 126, which is what this is. And it's large um, letters, so I think they have plenty enough room. And I love the dotted lines. I love the dots that the children follow. So I love that. And they have the starting dot in black. So that's good. Okay, counting 148. Counting 148. Let's see here. Counting 148. So this would be good um, to introduce after you've done some of the um, tracing from uh, top to bottom. You could introduce the letter L or the letter or the number one after they've done those tracing exercises. So here's some examples of the numbers. So I, they're vi vibrant, they're bright, they're fun. I think kids would get a really good um, usage out of these. Okay, we've got sorting, page 168. Okay, what's different? Make them different. Find the pair. What's the same? Okay. My First Science, page 180, what was that? 186. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so there you go.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this kind of gives you some good ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Comment. Thanks.